Time is 8.30 and 35 seconds down on our studio clock. It's the first Sunday of June, so we celebrate National Cancer Survivors Day. And as we celebrate this beautiful day, let us have a quick chat with Mrs. Bagbita Agarwal, who has fought the battle with cancer 15 years back, and she has emerged victorious, and we would like to share her take on her journey of a survivorship. Hi, Mrs. Babita. Good evening. Hi, hi. So we shall have a really quick chat over here today being a National Cancer Survivors Day. Could you uh, tell us what type of cancer have you gone through? I went through breast cancer. I underwent mastectomy followed by chemotherapy. What was your first reaction like when you got to know that you were detected with uh, cancer? (laughs) Uh, I went into a state of shock and disbelief. Times just stood still. I was in tears. I couldn't hear a word of what the doctor was explaining. Okay, Okay. Because the thought of my children who were quite young Oh, forced mm-hmm. me to take a call between fight or flight. And you won't believe I opted to fight bravely with mm-hmm. positivity and faith in God. And you know, I've come a long way in the last 15 years. Oh, oh 15 years. Okay. Yeah. So um, since it's 15 years, what are your feelings as a survivor since the last 15 years? I would just say that I don't want to call myself a survivor mm-hmm. because we survive many things in life. It okay. could be financial, calamities, accidents, relationships and so on. Okay. So I proudly call myself a warrior. Yeah, I like to call myself a warrior. <laughs> That's really great. I mean, I'm sure uh, many others are inspired by you. I mean, you know, looking yeah, at you. Yeah, so uh, I'll just let me tell you why I call myself a warrior. Mm-hmm. It may sound a little funny to you. <laughs> okay. But uh, I like to call myself a warrior because I fought the negative feelings of shame, mm-hmm. guilt, anger, resentment and hurt that comes together as a package with cancer, okay. which makes a person negative. Okay. Now, this has helped me to survive and turn me into a much more confident person filled with gratitude and strong belief in myself. Let okay. me tell you, mm-hmm. hadn't I fought these emotions, I don't think I could have battled through this journey so easily. Okay. And as far as you just asked, inspire people. Oh, yes, as far yes. as inspiring people mm-hmm. is concerned, I think it has been possible only because of the support that was extended to me, not only by my family, okay. but also by Muskan which is my extended family. And now this Muskan, I'll just uh, take a minute to just tell you about Muskan. De- definitely. That Muskan definitely. has been working towards creating cancer awareness and providing psychosocial support mm-hmm. to cancer patients and their families since 2006. Okay. okay. And members at Muskan, they share their stories and experiences. Mm-hmm. They discuss their happiness and struggle to, struggle to okay. find a solution with a smile. That's what Muskan means, a smile. And here when we sit and we talk, mm-hmm. we share it. I'm telling you frankly, when yeah. we step out, we feel as if we are not going through anything. Life is so beautiful and simple. You know, that support group makes a lot of difference in the lives of cancer patients and their families. Really beautiful. Uh, Very nice of you, Babita, to share this. I mean, one last uh, quick question. I mean, what message or advice can you give to other cancer survivors who are tuned into FM Rainbow right now? Friends, my first thing would be, please don't be afraid of cancer because if detected early, it can be cured. So my suggestion would be, be aware of your body. Consult a doctor immediately if you observe any signs or symptoms that are not normal for you. Improve your quality of life with good nutrition, regular exercise and positive thoughts. Last but not the least, love yourself. Believe in yourself because nothing is impossible. See, I have practiced this mantra. I thought that my life had come to an end the moment I heard the word cancer. But believe me and trust me, when you just know how to deal with your negative emotions and turn it into positive. You learn to turn your hate into love, your sorrow into joy. The journey becomes very, very easy. So please believe in yourself. Wow, that's really beautiful. What a lovely message, Babita. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time, for making the time for us. And uh, here, share yeah. your message with us here on 105.4 FM Rainbow. Thank you so much for being such patient listeners. Love to all of you. Well, uh, that was uh, Babita Agarwal, a cancer survivor, sharing her thoughts with us.